Hey, how you all doing? This is John Mark. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, Baba School Bus that you all asked me to uh, give you a little bit of details about. I want to make sure you all guys understand that this is only an informational video. Um, there's a lot of uh, changes that can be done to it and Renee and I only uh, want this to be out there so other bully and other pet families can have something to look at. I didn't have much luck on the internet uh, finding anything. So uh, I had to come up with this all on my own and uh, go from there. A lot of trial and error and uh, I'm going to show you a few things and go from there. Okay, so let's get started. And uh... Okay, so we got uh, 60 feet of staircase. So what I used pretty much was uh, 1 by 12 from Home Depot uh, for the wood, uh, for the ramp at least. So this is a uh, 1 by 12 uh, and uh, I had to use two sections of it of course because I got 16 feet of staircase. Uh, this right here, all this is a C channel, it's aluminum. It comes in 8 feet lengths. Okay, and I pretty much all I did was uh, drill into it a couple of holes and recessed it so I could uh, get the screws to go nicely and flat because if you could see here uh, when the wheels come over the joint it's going to give it a little bump and I didn't want that to uh, jar too much the sled and uh, cause Bubba to get a little agitated or something. This is the hole that uh, I made from the interior top side so the wench cable could be fed through and go upwards and downwards and I'll show you that in a couple seconds. Uh, there's another hole for the cable itself for the remote, uh, I made it underneath the board, that way it doesn't interfere with the uh, sled moving up and down on there. Okay, you don't want that to be up in the way. And uh, uh, I moved the C channel as far apart as I could, uh, so it would have a larger, a wider wheelbase. That is okay. Um, at the bottom side, there's not much changes. It's just a little bumper stop. That way, um, even if I let go of the sled farther than it needs to go, it's not going to run off the track. It'll just stop right there at the bumper. Okay? Um, covered it with carpet, used some nails, etc. It's nothing big. Just got some any type of carpet that you want to put on there. Um, so as you can see, there's a pulley wheel down there initially routes the cable up and around onto, onto two other wheels and this is a safety there's just two bolts and a piece of metal with a couple of nuts underneath it that way it lifts it up above the carpet and it doesn't hinder the wire from sliding through it so that way if the cable or any of this ever lets go um, there'll still be something holding on to the cable while Bubba's inside of it and it doesn't let go and it doesn't crash so you'll have enough time to remove him from the sled and take any other actions that you need to take okay um, so again it's just wood carpet some C channels at Home Depot these wheels uh, are pretty much uh, pulley wheels for garage doors. Okay, they're about four and a half dollars. They come with the bolt that uh, comes in the package. So all you got to do is pretty much get it a longer bolt. That way it, it goes all the way through the board. And uh, you have some space to put a lock nut and a washer underneath there. I also put some washers underneath the wheel itself, that way it could slide a little better. Okay, so uh, three, three garage pulley wheels, some longer bolts, a couple of bolts and a piece of metal to hold it in place so as not to uh, cause it to come off uh, the track when the sled gets higher. And the remote, uh, I'm going to talk about the winch in a little bit but here's a remote up and down okay it's very nice it's 10 foot length on the cable that's the only 
uh, wench I could find with a 10 foot length so that's why I had to put it pretty much halfway up or halfway down the stairs uh, so it will reach all the way up and reach all the way down either way uh, I wanted to be in control of it that's why I uh, didn't want to put it on the wall and uh, you know make it an on and off switch because then you wouldn't really be able to stop it as uh, we're moving up and down at least with the control you have all the control you want in your hand and uh, if something goes wrong you can always stop it right there and in there okay so that's pretty much for the ramp and the pulleys and how the winch wire comes through the wall routes up and around and attaches to the school bus that I painted there okay um, I also had to make a ramp uh, to exit uh, and I incorporated the ramp to like a shoe cubby alright so I had to make that because if you look at the ramp versus the bus and you open the bus door at the front side uh, there's way too much height on the bus because we wanted Bubba to be sitting in it um, at an even angle not aiming downwards because you know our, our pets are heavy front side you know and last thing you need is to have this bus flip over and then you got another issue so um, I'm gonna show you right now what I'm trying to explain to you I'm just getting it down here real quick so as you can see you let go of the go button and it stops so I'm gonna remove the door well, that's all that is. And as you can see, if I flip this down, there's a good, a good, um, probably a foot and a half, two feet of height. Okay. Uh, the only resolution to that would be to make this other ramp at the front to help them get out. So, in turn. That's that, and you just open the door and he comes right off, okay? Alright, so that helped him get off, and this is just an extension because even then, there was another amount of space here that he was having a hard time either getting up or down, so add another uh, hinge. Make it a little longer, add some more carpet and the non-skid. This is a non-skid material that you put like in your cabinetry and you find the, all this stuff at Home Depot. So all it is is some wood, some carpet, some paint, non-skid material, and you got yourself a little ramp. I made sure to put non-skid uh, feet underneath it so it doesn't uh, move while he's coming off of it. And uh, worked out well, okay? So let's talk about the bus. So here we are at the top side again with the bus. Um, it's pretty much a container, as you can see, with some rung, uh, some non skid material again. Um, uh, you can do whatever you'd like as far as color and uh, use your imagination, make something nice and pretty that you all like. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you is these two areas here. This is pretty much a higher area. That way, on his way up, as he enters through the front side, his feet don't want to slide off of the bus. Uh, so he enters this way as he goes down, and he enters from the opposite direction uh, to get back up the stairs. But we didn't want his feet to come off the sled and uh, maybe get uh, rubbed on, etc. So... I made a little bit of piece, small piece of wood right here, so it, it, it stands up in you know, another half an inch or so. So we got a small piece of wood here, another piece of wood that's higher than the board itself. And the reason I did that is because of these pulley wheels, okay? If I ran the original board all the way through, I'd have to stop the, the sled. I'd have to sl stop the sled about there because 
the original piece of wood would run into the pulley wheels. So what I did was I cut it there and I put a piece of wood on top of it so it would lift it up a good half inch, three quarters of an inch. And that took care of my problem, which in turn, I'm now able to bring it all the way up to the top and he can exit out without putting his feet on top of the pulley wheels, etc., or get injured with his nails, etc. So, piece of wood on top of this wood, this wood on top of another piece of wood. And uh, you attach your carpet, you glue it, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, put some more non skin material on both sides, on the front door also. And uh, put another hinge or two at the front of the bus, as you saw earlier. Uh, two hinges here, that way the door opens nicely. A couple of eye bolts, big lug nut, and uh, put some carpeting here because there's there's obviously some uh, spacing there between the two pieces of wood, so that as not to uh, you know hurt his feet some more. Okay, so decorate as you'd like. Um, a couple of eye bolts, a lot of screws, a lot of nuts. <laughs> I'm making it out uh, like it's easier than it is, but uh, it took quite a bit of work as far as the sled was concerned because, again, like I was saying earlier, we wanted him to be sitting straight and not on an angle. So I had to figure the angle on the bus, etc. And uh, that's why it looks a lot longer here, front side, than the rear uh, because it's uh, on a plane, okay? Uh, I'm going to flip over the bus real quick and give you a quick view from underneath. You can look at my mess. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so as you can see, that's the underneath the bus, okay? So obviously the rear wheels are sitting flat on the original board, but then I had to give it some height in the front so as to give it a straight sort of angle so he's sitting straight, okay? Uh, a lot of L brackets uh, throughout, a lot of nice long uh, screws. Um, here's the cable from the winch. I put a, an open link, that way if I ever had to service it, I can always just undo it, you know, and fish it out, fish the cable out, and go back to work on it in the garage. Um, I had this spare in the garage, so I put it to good use. Uh, that's all that is. Okay. Um, I recessed a small hole, a whole little bitty notch right there in the front side. That way, as the uh, sled is moving up and down, the cable itself tracks and it stays nice and even. But as you can see, these wheels are. Uh, Home Depot, just make sure that the wheels sit in the C-channel. They have numerous sizes and I had to go through numerous wheels just to get uh, and finally found the correct size at Home Depot um, that will fit in the C-channel without it affecting uh, the bolts that go through the wheel. So these wheels sit just slightly higher than the C-channel depth and uh, they worked out really good. Um, the front side wheel chant wheels, I went ahead and screwed a, a metal screw through there so they wouldn't move like these, so they would stay stationary, um, just for safety's sake, and I wanted less motion uh, in the back side, that's where his butt is mainly, and uh, it worked out good. As you can see, I have tons of holes all over my board, <laughs> it's kind of comical. I'm surprised this thing hasn't fallen apart yet. I've drilled into it so many times. But there's L brackets everywhere. Um, this piece of wood on the interior of the wall is a lot thinner than the exterior. Uh, I needed something thin uh, because since I have the car so close to the wall and the wall of course, uh, the wall is never even in homes, apartments, etc. Uh, nothing's ever perfectly on cue with uh, the building, the manufacturer, etc. And of course, the wall moves in and out slowly. So um, I had to get a thinner piece of wood to use on the inside of the bubble bus. 
uh, which in turn has less support, but it gives him that mobility also because his shoulders are so wide and a lot of our bully shoulders are wide, okay? So uh, that gave him a, a couple of, uh, you know, maybe an inch or so extra to move around, which is good for him. I forgot to mention earlier, you need to be careful as far as the height of your banister. If you have a banister on your staircase, uh, our shoulder for our bully came right up underneath it, which worked out really, really nice. Uh, if you have a bigger dog, obviously your sled's going to be bigger. The height for the dog, the particular dog's going to be higher, so you might want to look at the uh, banister if you have one. Uh, you might need to adjust the banister. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. So. Uh, I'm going to stop this tape rolling here and maybe I can think of something and tack on, okay? So hold on, guys. Okay, so I thought of something. There's a little wedge here. And I was talking about earlier that the board on the interior of the wall is thinner. As you can see, this is regular piece uh, one, one inch. And this is just a little bitty thin piece of wood that doesn't have much support on it. Apart from the support that's underneath, you know, this has a big L bracket that's holding it here, holding it from the inside, from the holding it from the outside, also on the bottom side. So that holds a grunt of the weight. Apart from the top front side, also with the hinges, uh, this is more flexible. As you can see, how close that is to the wall. Uh, as I ride it up and down, it fluctuates how much distance I have here. So it's it's a good thing that I use a, a thinner piece of wood. But in turn, since I can't very well latch onto this one because I need the door to open uh, it's more flexible to move around which is fine you know it's been a little while now that we've been using it and uh, it hasn't had any damage to it just yet and uh, hopefully it'll hold for a while but this wedge here is to keep it on track because if he's leaning up on it and he's gonna come down he's gonna run into the wall here for the uh, frame of the door so what that wedge does is it pushes that side straight and now there's no worry about running into the uh, lip of the frame of the door um one more thing a couple of things actually as you can see i had made holes on the aluminum c channel uh and i decided to remove those screws uh and i just made it uh join at each end instead. I didn't put any more screws in the middle. I didn't think it needed them. I just put them here and here, top side and bottom side. I didn't think it needed the extra hold. Um, actually, I think it's best. Uh, the less bumping you got going around while your pet's uh, going up and down, the better. And it lets the wheels uh, fluctuate ever so slightly. You know, it lets the track move along with the wheels, you know, as the track and the bus are moving up and down the track. So I think it's nice. That way it's not so rigid and it doesn't want to uh, let the wheels jump up and out of the track, which hasn't happened yet. So uh, one more note. Uh, we got lucky that the wench uh, was able to be installed and I'll talk about that on the next clip on the exterior wall that hooks up to the garage. Um, if you have the wench interiorly, uh, 